Hello friends, this is Basraj Benumba coming out with uh, Uronic Acid Pathway, the new video on Uronic Acid Pathway, which is helpful for B from second semester students. And this is also an alternative pathway as HMP shunt is one more alternative pathway for glucose metabolism. And this Uronic Acid Pathway is also an alternative oxidative pathway for glucose metabolism, which supplies uh, glucuronic acid, ascorbic acid and pento sugars. Coming to the reactions of glucose, uh, uronic, uh, uronic acid pathway, that the first step is similar to <coughs> glycolysis. Glucose in presence of exokinase is converted to glucose 6 phosphate. That this hydrogen, this hydrogen is removed and uh, attached with phosphate. This phosphate is coming from ATP and this hydrogen is going to ADP. So in, uh, in conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate, ATP is converted to ADP in presence of enzyme hexokinase. That's how first step takes occurs. Glucose 6-phosphate uh, in presence of enzyme mutase, what is happening? This hydrogen is shifted to first uh, sixth carbon atom and this phosphate is shifted to first carbon atom, interchanging. Phosphate is going to first carbon atom, hydrogen from sixth, first carbon atom coming to sixth carbon atom. You can see that this is hydrogen from first carbon atom. Phosphate from here is shifted to first carbon atom to form glucose one phosphate glucose six phosphate is converted to glucose one phosphate in presence of mutase this glucose one phosphate in presence of pyrophosphorylase utp is uh, from U utp udp is transferred to this glucose one phosphate to form udp glucose in presence of pyrophosphorylase so the hydrogen phosphate from here one phosphate from uh, triphosphate to one more phosphate is removed as pyrophosphate two phosphates are removed from this one phosphate and one more phosphate from this UTP. So when you remove this one phosphate from UTP, it will form UDP. That's all. The other things in the structure remain same. So only change taking place, UDP is attached to form UDP glucose. Glucose one phosphate in terms of pyrophosphorylase is converted to UDP glucose. This UDP glucose on dehydrogenation, four hydrogen atoms are removed. Uh, by this coenzyme NADP plus. So this two hydrogen, two hydrogen from here and two hydrogen from this water molecule are removed, taken, removed with this coenzyme NADP plus HH plus. And one O is remaining, that O will be attached here to this uh, sixth carbon atom to form a carboxylic group. You can see that. See, instead of CH2H, it is now COOH. So that is the only change. The other things in the structure are remaining same. Only change is taking place here. So uh, hydrogen is removed and O is attached. So hydrogen is taken up by this NADP plus. To form UDP glucuronic acid. UDP glucose on dehydrogenation is converted to UDP glucuronic acid. This in presence of glucuronidase enzyme, a water molecule is added. This UDP is removed, molecule, UDP molecule is removed. From this water molecule, H is attached there. You remove this UDP, UDP has been removed, right? And OH is at, uh, transferred to this UDP. So H is only H is transferred from this water molecule and OH to this UDP. So this will form glucuronic acid. UDP, uh, glucuronic acid is converted to glucuronic acid in terms of glucuronidase. <clears throat> This glucuronidase on dehydrogenation, dehydrogenation that is NADP plus HH plus, two hydrogen are transferred. <clears throat> two hydrogen are transferred. So ring opens here, you can see there one hydrogen, this is CHOH, this is CHOH, right? And this one H from this is attached here to this carbon. It becomes CHOH, CHOH. And one more CHOH is there, this is that. And the third one, alternate is there. So there is CHOH alternate and fourth CHOH that is here. And last one, one more hydrogen is there. One hydrogen is attached here to form CHOH. One more hydrogen will attach here to this carbon atom. So it will form CH2OH. So that is CH2OH. That's how ring opens. <clears throat> so glucuronic acid in on dehydrogenation is converted to L-gluconic acid. How, what is happening? And as I told you, this OH... H is added from this, so it becomes CHOH, ring opens. And one H is added to this, it will form CH2OH. So COH, this is COH, CHOH is there, CHOH, this is CHOH, it is also there. Then alternate uh, CHOH, next CHOH, and last carbon atom, 
when hydrogen is transferred, so it becomes CH2OH. So ring opens to form L-gluconic acid. <clears throat> this L-gluconic acid on dehydrogenation and decarboxylation. So dehydrogenation and decarboxylation, you can see there CO2 is removed from this. CO2 is removed from this, so it will become this hydrogen is transferred to this carbon atom, it will become CH2OH. Right? And two hydrogen are also removed. From where they are removed? From this third carbon atom. From this two hydrogen are removed, so it will form CO. CO2 is removed. This hydrogen is transferred to this uh, second carbon atom, so it will form CH2H and these two hydrogen are removed, so it forms CO. So that's how xylulose is formed. L-gluconic acid on decarboxylation and dehydrogenation is converted to xylulose. And the L-gluconic acid is converted to L-ascorbic acid in, uh, on dehydrogenation, this uh, except in primates and guinea pigs. <laughs> this uh, synthesis takes place. Uh, that is, uh, hydrogen is being transferred. Water molecule is being H2O. Sorry, it is H2O. Okay, H2O it is. Okay, water molecule is removed. From where water molecule is removed? Again, here you can see this... COO is there, it is COO, H is there. So this H I'm removing and this H, third carbon, one, two, three, fourth carbon, fourth carbon atom, OH and this H is removed. So it will form COO, that's all, the ring. This can you can see, COO linkage. OH was there here, OH is removed. And H is there in this carboxyl in the form of water, H2O. That is H2O, okay? That is H2O. Don't get confused. That is H2O. Um, typing error is there. That is H2 molecule is being removed. H2O is removed. So, and uh, two hydrogen are also removed, taken, uh, removed on dehydrogenation. That is from this second and third carbon. So, there is a double bond formation. So that's how L-ascorbic acid is synthesized. So L-gluconic acid on dehydrogenation and removal of water molecule, it is con converted to L-ascorbic acid. Coming to the significance of uh, uronic acid pathway, a lot of uh, significance, it is, is a de detoxification process. And another is synthesis of ascorbic acid in lower animals. There's uh, ascorbic acid is synthesized through uronic acid pathway. This also has important, like conjugates with various drugs. Why when this uh, conjugates with various drugs, glucuronic acid conjugates with various drugs, which makes the drugs water soluble and they are easily excreted. So conjugation with various drugs, glucuronic acid. Synthesis of UDP glucuronic acid that uh, this uh, UDP glucuronic acid uh, detoxifies. How it detoxifies? UDP glucose binds with uh, uh, bilirubin, steroid hormones, drugs, carcinogens, and make them water soluble and they are excreted. So, detoxification, synthesis of UDP glucose helps in detoxification. That's why detoxification process in general we are it. Synthesis of glycose. Aminoglycans, glycosaminoglycans, these are helpful in synthesis of heparin, hyaluronic acid, dermatin sulfate, and all. And also, synthesis of UDP glucose is also there. Synthesis of uh, <clears throat> UDP glucose is synthesized in this uronic acid pathway. This uh, UDP glucose is helpful in synthesis of glycogen, glycogenesis. Glycogenesis. This UDP glucose will supply the glucose molecules to the glycogen chain. That's how the, uh, that UDP is being synthesized in ur uronic acid pathway. And there is no net generation of ATP in this pathway. Thank you. Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.